I've got my client David with me today. We're, we're doing our fourth session of the Anxiety Gamma Brain Reset and David is driving. So I usually turn off my camera, but this is our first time in the car together. I'm here and you're in the car. You've been practicing driving. We've eliminated all your fears. Are you on the motorway now, A14? Dual carriageway. It'll be about two minutes. We've got to go down, round around, about the back of the other side. So this is the fourth time we've we've done our therapy, and you've actually been driving all last week in all the motorways, right? Yeah. And yeah. you've been having panic attacks on the motorway and stopped driving on them completely for the last how long? Six months, was it, or longer? Longer. Longer. How long? Longer. A year, eighteen months. Eighteen months of not driving, and you're a taxi on... driver, and you've been avoiding yeah. motorways and a roads. Are you happy to be back on the wheel? Yes, yes. Are you nervous driving on the A road and you've been overtaking lorries and we've been testing it today. We've done some brain techniques and we're just testing now. What's happening today? What's happening now, we're just going around the roundabout. We're just getting on the A14, which is a dual carriageway. Going up the slip road now, and up one. So joining, joining the, the slip road, are you frightened or panicky? What's going on there? I'm doing just under 70, so I'd say I'm not panicking. Oh yes, you were. You started crawling along the road behind the lorries really slow because you were too frightened to go anywhere lately, haven't you? And yeah. you've been avoiding motorways. You've been going all the little tiny roads just to get to where you need to go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you've been refusing journeys that needed it. If people jump in your cab, you say no if they're far away or on the motorway. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me some of the roads you've been on this this week with your wife? We've been on the A14 to the end, where it meets the M671. We went M1 northbound, come off at Leicester, went M69 south to Coventry, got back on the M6 at Coventry, come down to the end of it and on the A14. Yeah. So that was that was after our third session, you were able to do all of that. And then on your own yeah. with your wife, and then you've been doing that. There's a little bit of fear today because before when you met me, you said that you hesitated behind three lorries in a row and didn't want to overtake them, and you were sort of hovering around. So I treated that today, and I don't know if there's enough lorries in a row to, to do, is there? I, I don't know whether you can hear my indicator. I've gone out. We are coming up to the first lorry. I can see. Oh, I can see it at the side of your window. Yes, and you'll yes. see a blue one any minute now. There's a big blue one. With it. I can see it at the window next. Oh, I see it now. You just over to. Oh, I can see the lorries. I can see it from your window. Perfect. Yes. Well done, David. Yes. Really yes. pleased for you. So we're going to do a bit more next week. We're going to do the anxiety gap. Well, the gamma bits next week of reprogramming. We've did a little bit of that today. We did a lot of eye techniques to get rid of the fear, the last little residual fear. Next week, we're going to be programming positive things. So this becomes permanent. You're going to be left with some homework to go testing and stuff. But you've already done a really amazing week of driving all these motorways and A roads. So today okay. is session four out of the six week program right the county estate i've told. yay so how do you feel in confidence compared to how you've been all these 18 months of not driving on these big roads and not overtaking and avoiding what do you feel now are you did i make you are we having to do lots of things just to get you on the road with your wife are you having to meditate before you go on the road what's going on here no it's i dare say it's become natural again do you have to do heavy breathing or box breathing before we do anything? No. 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 Are you having to psych yourself up and get into a, a zone before you get yourself on the motorway or you just jump in the car with your wife and go? Yeah, yeah. That's what we did on Saturday. We just went out and, well, ended up going where we went. 
And then when you and when you get people jump in your cab and they want to go far away, what happens? Are you scared before you were getting scared before they even approach your car, weren't you? Yes. Yes. What's that been like this week? It's been fine. It's been fine. You don't I get jumpy? No, I've done a job that went about 15 miles out of town and completely fine. Yay, well done. Well done, David. Can you just say something about the speeds you've been driving? What, today? No, all these weeks you've been, what have you been doing with speed on these roads? If you try it or or you avoided it altogether? No, we've tried it and the odd junction I have done has been 45, 50 at the most. So you, were you finding slowing down because you were frightened? And then now, that yeah, for the past week, you've done all the motorways. Were you slowing down and hiding behind vehicles, or were you actually driving at the proper legal speed limit? Yeah, yeah, we were doing, yeah, just under the limit. And today, what sort of speeds have you been going? A decent speed, or are you hanging around? 65, 68. Is that comfortable speed? Nice and fast, catching up? And how does your mind and body feel while you're doing these speeds? Because you were hesitating before you met me. The, the mind and body feels pretty relaxed, pretty normal. Pretty it's good. Not, good. So it's not forced? You're not just... How do you feel? It's just happening on its own, the way that you've driven your vehicle all these years? Yeah, yeah. Is it effort? No, not really, no. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant, well done.